right, today I'm going to be talking about the Stanley 78 rebate plane. The Stanley 78 is a very useful rebate plane. It consists of a main casted body which has two ramps on it for the blade. The blade is held in by a lever cap tightened with this thumb screw and is removed very easily out of the side of the plane. There's a depth adjustment mechanism with this lever which is quite crude in its adjustment. The blade has some slots in the back which coincide with this tooth mechanism on the adjustment. Obviously it needs to be prepared with a flat sole and the one side needs to be prepared at 90 degrees. You can use the other side of the plane but as you can see there's very little bearing surface. If you were running a deep rebate you'd use the full side and sole as your reference surface, uh, run the rebate almost to depth but if you were getting a bad finish because the grain direction wasn't quite right you could then swap over and use the other side just being very careful because you've got minimal bearing surface here. Looking at the, the other side of the plane you see we have depth stop which sets the depth of the rebate and obviously when we get down to that depth the plane won't cut anymore. Below the depth stop you can also see we have a little nicking cutter. Currently it's um, hidden away. It's a, a three pronged device here and it can go in one of four positions. So we can release that screw, turn it around to have a cutter protruding very slightly to pre-cut the corner of the rebate. As with the shoulder plane we need to make sure that the side of the blade is flush with the side that we're referencing off. So we slacken slightly on the lever cap and press the whole assembly down on a flat surface and snug up again. When we prepare the sole of the plane for flatness we want to have the iron inserted and set to the correct tension. The plane comes with a fence which screws into the side of the body, it will fit on both sides and then we set the width of the rebate. You might notice that the grain direction is going to be wrong here so we should get some tear out and that's pretty horrible so what we can do is reverse everything round, set the blade flush with the other side, remove the fence pin, turn the work round, and then use it in the same fashion as the shoulder plane. And that's a perfectly good finish. I almost forgot to show you the plane set up as a bull nose. The blade simply sits on this front ramp and is tightened down with the lever cap. There's no advancement mechanism on here, so blade settings very coarse. We can obviously use the tapping method that I've shown in other videos. Set the blade back a bit, slightly tap it until you get exactly the the shaving you want and obviously lateral adjustment the same way. The interesting feature of having a bull nose on here is there's very little referencing space at the, at the front of the plane here. So starting a cut is very difficult. No matter how hard we press down on the front of the plane we can't really reference that tiny surface on there to begin a cut. And the rebate plane, the reason for that 
is that we're using it to get into a corner. For example, let's say we were running this rebate inside a frame. There'd be another member here, and so whenever we got to this point, we'd stop planing. And so our rebate would only get cut up to where the blade normally was, which is here. With the bull nose, we're able to continue that rebate on. There is, of course, one slight problem. We need to relieve for the front of the plane because we're not going to be cutting here with the plane so after we've taken one shaving it won't want to cut anymore so that's just a case of chopping down to depth in the corner of your frame then you better plane right through to where you've chopped out and keep planing that last bit down to match the rest of your rebate so that's the number 78 rebate plane I hope the video has been of some use to you.